Hi, it's Chloe here from Tech Fluff TV. I'm sitting here with the PR warrior himself, Trevor Young, and also the social media butterfly, Kimberly Lee. Um, and I'm going to have a chat to them about um, the media um, landscape here in Australia, but also Melbourne as well. So they're a niche PR agency that do comms and strategy and have branched out onto the social media field. So. Uh, a journalist going back many years, but have been in public relations yeah. and Marcoms for about 20 years. Um, and in the last three or four years, been immersing myself more in social media as it pertains to our industry, PR and, um, yeah. and communications. And so Kimberly, um, I heard you were, um, well a bit, bit about your background, but I heard you were recruited through Twitter by David and Trevor, so. Well, yeah. I am um, coming from Sydney, I had developed an interest and a passion for social media in the comm space, in the PR space, um, and obviously with Trevor being the PR warrior, <laughs> I thought he's someone very good to follow and mm. I read his blog and um, yeah, just decided that I felt like a city change and when I knew I was coming to Melbourne, I thought, well, who's brain to better to pick than Trevor's? <laughs> Great. So, um, and she picked it. Yes. I did pick it. <laughs> and then I picked how, it. And yeah, how, and yeah, how did that happen? So, so what's the story behind that? You, you, you direct messaged each other? No, or something? look, it was not in, intentional. I never yeah. contacted Trevor thinking that I would be working for him. It was more, you know, talking to him about the industry down here and the differences um, to Sydney but about a year before I moved I'd started really exploring the space getting into Twitter blogging and finding the value for me and the PR space um, in general I mean it's like every city's got its own major metros um, and we're probably unlike the UK where you've got more national media, we're very state by state with only a couple of national newspapers, the Financial Review and the Australian, um, a lot of local press. So it's pretty similar, I guess, to other other areas. In, in terms of Australia, magazines, were, we, we used to be, and I'm not sure if we still are, we used to be the biggest users of magazines or biggest readers of magazines per capita in the world. Uh, and we have got a plethora of them around the place. But the good thing with, uh, you know, social media, there's a lot around, but traditional media continues to grow and, and change and evolve. Uh, only in the last couple of months, we've had a new radio station added into Melbourne called uh, MTR, uh, and it's Melbourne Talk Radio, which for PR people is great to have another uh, talkback radio station. And another, um, another local newspaper, which is out in, takes in half of Melbourne, out in the eastern suburbs, uh, called the Weekly Times. So um, it's, it's, sorry, the oh, Weekly Review. The so Weekly Review. The Weekly Times is a uh, agricultural yeah. magazine <laughs> newspaper. So it's really good to see new media outlets still coming on stream. And, and as P PR people, we need to uh, get across that. I think in recent years, some of the big change has been, um, you know, uh, the introduction of commuter uh, newspapers like we So, uh, but apart from that, um, the changes are obviously um, newspapers are now doing more online. Uh, the Herald Sun, for example, they, they, they've got a lot of, um, it's, it's still got a million readers a day, which is still extremely influential. Um, they the population's have, here still about four and a half now? Uh, three and a half for, oh, three us, and for and Melbourne, half, yeah. yeah. But it's Victoria wide. Yeah. Uh, but the Herald Sun, you know, they cover our Australian rules football very deeply, which we're in Sports Mad <laughs> Melbourne. Um, and they've a lot of their journalists are, are multimedia stars. They don't just write, but they're on radio and television. So they've got followings of their own. People agree with them, disagree with them. They so the Herald Sun have also, you know, they do online video. So it's that cr it's. I think the, the, the modern journalist has to be able to cross boundaries and, and do stuff really quickly for online, get online as well as the newspaper. So deadlines are all changed, of course, with all that. But I think a key thing will be um, people sitting at the television with the iPad. They're doing it now in, in droves with mm. laptops, yes. but once an iPad comes out and it's, it's everywhere, if, if it ever becomes everywhere, 
those people will be sitting around multitasking, doing lots of things at once. So they won't be watching the ad, but if the ad grabs them and there's a call to action, yeah. they can actually do something. I think so that's the really important now to yeah. win. Yeah, I think yep. That's, yep. That's, that's some exciting times yeah. from the ad industry. I think that's going to be great for them if they can get people's attention and have offers that people can go straight to. Yeah, I've learned. Still very digital marketing. Um, I don't see so. I don't like sort of the word marketing and social media per se. I think it's a, we see it more from a holistic comms point of view. Mm -hmm. And there's two schools of thought. One is you can go on and, and get your message out there and have your campaigns and all that, which is probably closer to old digital marketing. And they just happen to use some social media tools. Um, in PR, we're all about probably building, finding your influences and, your, and the people you need to talk to. And, and have a relationship with them over a period of time and a two-way relationship. We've always done that. Um, it's about it's community and a sustainable community that just keeps growing and I guess the trust and the, the, um, the quality of the relationships grow as well just by the yeah. nature of it because it is long term. And that's what PR's always done. Yeah. It's always done that. It's just now we have different tools to be able to do it probably yeah. more effectively. Yeah. So it doesn't mean you can't just go off and promote stuff, but it's hard to do that if you haven't already built you know, following sure. or a base. And, and every brand needs a base, whether it's online or offline. They all need a base of followers and fans yeah. and advocates, otherwise. Which they takes much time to brand. build. Oh, absolutely. And you, and you need to build it before you need it. <laughs> yeah, yes, indeed. Get building now, get on your blog now. Um, Four squares and the koala overseas and things like that. I've been listening to my um, six pixels of separation yep. and, and Jaffy Juice with um, you know for, with the guys from overseas and their hat tip is definitely I guess using those geolocational geotagging tools for marketing. Um, for mine, I'd like to see in Australia that the blogging. I think. There's, people aren't understanding what blogging is and they, some people say, well, I don't follow blogs, but in reality, when you dig deep, deeper, they actually are. And I think blogging is blurring into traditional online media, if that's the case. I call blogging uh, traditional social media. It's been around for so long. Um, and I just think the, the, um, the ability to go out and have a platform and create and put video and audio and images on together um, once people discover that, and it's getting easier with uh, Posturus and Tumblr, uh, we're going to see a lot more of that, and and that leads to niche, or my word, nicheification that I like using, uh, of a lot of things. So it's getting really niche in a lot of areas, smaller communities, uh, but using these tools, combining these tools mm. together. But I think also seeing uh, as regulatory bodies and associations becoming the hub and, and connecting all these people, you know, writing um, their niche blogs and, and um, really bringing them together and providing one point of this connection, yeah. do you think? Yeah. There's a role there? Aggregate, yeah. Aggregate. yeah, curators of content. Great. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll leave it there. Thank you, guys. Thanks so much for your time Thank today. You, Thank you. See ya. Bye.